Hello. Have you noticed that newborn babies startle easily? That is something that they were born with. It's called a reflex. They don't do it by themselves. They don't decide that they want to startle. So you find that a newborn baby startles to bright lights, startles when there is a loud noise like when you bang the door. Or sometimes even their own movements can startle them. When they startle, what do they do? They open their arms and their feet and then they close it again. It's a reflex named after a pediatrician. It's called the morous reflex. What the morous reflex does is that it's protective. It helps them even if they were to fall, it makes the impact of the fall less or it draws the carer's attention that the baby is threatened so that they can take care of them. Now, why am I talking about this? Sometimes we have people who are saying that the baby is startling because the baby is frightened or the baby is afraid and they want to cure the baby of the fright. So you have people who are throwing their babies up and down because they want to teach them not to be afraid. No, this is a reflex, like I said. The baby is not doing it by him or herself. And the baby has no control over it. And the thing is that by the time the babies are three to four months old, this disappears on its own. So you may have a grandparent who is throwing the baby up and down. And because the baby is three to four months old and this reflex, called the morose reflex, has disappeared, the mother or the grandmother thinks that it is because they've cured the baby of fright and the baby is no more afraid. And then the practice continues. Well, the problem with throwing your baby up and down is that accidents can happen. Imagine you throw your baby down and the baby falls on the floor and babies, they have very delicate heads. They can have head injuries. They have delicate bones. They can break their bones. So that is the morose reflex. The baby is not doing it on their own. And so you should not try to cure the baby of fright. It is not because the baby is necessarily frightened. It's just a reflex. The other thing is that we don't want babies to be shaken. Sometimes when you throw them up and down, you are shaking them. And in severe cases, depending on how high you throw this baby, the baby can get what is called a shaken baby syndrome. The shaken baby syndrome can really damage the baby, can damage the baby's head. So you don't need to throw your baby up and down because you think the baby is frightened. That is a normal reflex called the morous reflex. It will disappear by the time the baby is three to four months old. If it doesn't disappear by six months old, you should draw the baby's caregiver's attention to it because that may be a problem. In fact, when you take a baby to hospital, or even newborns, when we are examining them, we examine to be sure that the morous reflex is present because it is absent in things like brain infection, which we call meningitis. It is absent in things like breath asphyxia when the, de the delivery was so difficult that oxygen support was cut off to the brain or when the baby is very very sick or the baby has jaundice that is so bad that it has crossed into the brain it is absent and that is abnormal when it is absent we really worry a lot so something that is normal something that we depend on to assure us that your baby is developing well don't bother about it don't throw your babies up and down it is normal for newborn babies to startle until they are about two three or four months old Thank you for watching this video. Have you subscribed to our channel? Here we talk about everything and anything that has to do with the health of your child. So subscribe, share as well. If you subscribe, click on the notification button so that when we upload videos, you'll be notified. Thank you. Bye.